Daniel Dreyfus here with an introduction to spiritual marketing research. One might ask if the two are even compatible in theory. Is it possible to have wholeness, spirituality, and still do marketing? After all, Jesus said, lead us not into temptation. Buddha desires the root of all suffering. And it would seem that marketing is designed to satisfy desire or even create it. But there's a difference between right and wrong desire. Mary Baker Eddy in prose works at the turn of the century asked that she be led not as Caesar, great stained with blood, but only great as I am good. It delineates the difference between conquest through violence and goodness expanding. In the United States, the founders and in the Constitution, we have liberty and the pursuit of happiness. Those are spiritual ideas, for the right idea really blesses everyone. There's, I think we know within us the difference between an expression of love and sharing and one of greed taking advantage. From the inception of marketing, Marco Polo seeking goods in the Orient, the Sears catalog expanding across the American West, and Amazon.com online, we see the expression of an increasing level of good distributed. When we're open to ideas from our real source, and we touch that spiritual wholeness, holiness within, we find that we touch it within our market as well. And when we're in the online modern world, articles, videos, blogs, banners, PPC, all of that can be an extension of the same spiritual principle, uncompromised. To learn more about spiritual marketing and how you can capitalize on it ethically and productively and profitably, please see thousandeveryday.com and blog.thousandeveryday.com.